right? So I didn't manage to log in uh, while I was away. So, you know, you actually saw me there. I didn't log in for seven days. And the first thing I did when I got back was getting my rune axe like I really wanted to when I left. And luckily I got it after not that many, um, or well, not that many kills of spirit trees. I only had to do one trip. So then I decided to get level 45 woodcutting so I could get a maple log to complete the troll romance quest because I don't know why but I wanted to complete that quest because it's one of those goals of mine of completing several quests. So I got my rune axe, got 45 woodcutting and probably going to have to get 57 later on so I can hunt black gin chompers and use the canoe. But here's just a clip of me getting all the flowers from Troll Romance. And it was an alright quest. The boss fight was a little bit difficult, like you can see here. But eventually I managed to save spot in that. It was all good, thank god. So, um, aside from Troll Romance and everything, I finally decided to start Hunter. I also did some fishing though, because uh, whenever I need to AFK, I either do woodcutting and fishing. And since I, um, I don't know why, but fishing is always easier to do. Uh, what well, was easier to do because I just teleported to Artie and took the boat to um, uh, to Karamja or well to Brimhaven and then used the uh, chart to get to Shiloh village and just fish there but I got level 50 uh, level 50 fishing after I completed troll romance and after that I just um, uh, stopped fishing so now I'm just going to AFK woodcutting since I'll need to get 57 eventually because I'll need to um, complete or well, I'll need the canoe for the black chins, like I said previously, because my goal right now is to get 83 hunter. So um, after level 50 uh, fishing, I also uh, com I completed a few more quests. One of the most annoying quests ever was Garden of Tranquility. <laughs> it was really annoying because my patches that you, you need to grow patches, and my patches just kept dying. Like it took some time to actually get the seeds to plant, but after I planted everything. Um, that also kept dying, which was really annoying. But the quest reward was really nice, and I got level 30 farming, so, you know, that was really welcome. Um, I'm probably going to train farming in the future, but right now I don't have that many seeds, so I'm just going to, um, what's it called? I'm going to wait until I complete the Throne of Miscellanea, and after I complete that quest, I am going to... <clears throat> um, use my seeds to train farming and use my herbs to um, to train herblore. So I just recorded a few of my hunter levels. I didn't record all of them, but I recorded the majority. Oh, and every, every time I get a genie lamp, I use it on herblore. And while I'm hunting, I'm growing cats as well uh, for those death runes. So right now I have around, uh, I don't know, I think I have 1700 death runes in my bank video at the end. But yeah. I'm not going to grow cats when I hunt like chinchompas in the wilderness, and I'm not sure if I'm going to grind out hunter or not because I am. Um, it's a really good source for random events, and I get a lot of gems from it. So whenever I uh, hunt, you know, I get a lot of sapphires and lots of emeralds, and I really need those for um, and teleport things because if I want to get 99 runecrafting and 99 construction and such. When I made planks, I'll need the rings of jeweling to teleport to Castor. So I can never have enough emeralds because I need a lot of rings of jeweling. I think I'll need around, I don't know, I'm probably going to make like 500 of them or something. And then I'll be set for a while. So one of the problems I encountered while making rings of jeweling was that all the gold bars I had were rewards from quests because um, I'm only 38 mining and 37 smithing. So I'll need to train that uh, in the near future, so I can make uh, gold, or well, I can mine gold ores, uh, make gold bars, and actually um, make rings of jewelings and games necklaces, obviously for teleport. Rings of jeweling are a bit more important than games necklaces, though. So, as you can see, I'm really raking in the death runes, and I'm also um, getting quite a bit of hunter levels. And um, once I got 63 Hunter, I wanted Le Rupia armor, so here you can just see me hunting the Le Rupia and uh, killing them, because um, I can't, obviously I can't buy it from other players, so it's a fine way of getting uh, the furs and just, um, you know, creating your own armor. I know it's just a lot more fun to create it yourself, so this is just me buying the Le Rupia outfit, and um, <clears throat> so yeah. Now, I'm 
probably go my death rune stack is not going to grow a lot after I uh, get 73 hunter because I won't take my cats into the wilderness. Oh, and by the way, I'm, I apologize for the. Um, sometimes the screen is a bit cropped a bit badly, but that's just because I. Um, I move my screen while playing, and then the high, uh, recording thing is still uh, on the other side, or well focused on a different thing. So that's why you get those weird screens. So anyway, this is just my bank video, 1.4k chinchampas, so not that much yet. And my stats, obviously, my stats, my total level hasn't improved, but my total experience definitely has improved. And my quest points are probably going to stay the same for a little while because right now I just want to get 83 hunter and ground out dragon. So anyway, thanks for watching.